Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to copy Xbox 360 games using the WX Ripper method. Here are the things you're going to need to have. You're going to need to have a movie over 7.5 gigs. I'm using I'm Legend full screen. Um, you're going to need whatever Xbox 360 game you're going to want to copy, original. Okay, and you're going to need like a screwdriver or something to hit the eject on your CD drive. Uh, you can use paper clips. I just use this because it's easier. Okay, now first, what you're going to do is you're going to take your DVD movie, put it in your DVD drive, close the drive. Um, going to go to computer, you're going to see, I only have one drive in right now. you got to wait till it loads up in there. Wait till it says I'm legend and then... Okay, it says I'm Legend now, right? Okay, so 7.63 gigs, okay. Close that. Okay, now we're going to go to Xbox 360 Backups. I'd recommend making a full that to save all your crap there. Okay, now you're going to have to get WX Ripper, which will come in a zip file. You'll need WinRIR, and you'll have to unzip it and into a folder. Okay, now open the folder. Go to the yellow one. Open that up. Now it's, choose your drive with the movie in there. I'm there's I'm Legend. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit the stop drive button. It'll stop now. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come down here. There'll be like a little hole on your drive somewhere. Push it in. It'll pop out. Make sure you don't hit the eject button. Take your DVD movie. Put it back in its case. I'll come over here. Grab the game we're going to be burning. I'm burning Call of Duty World at War. I have the original copy. Okay, now you're going to put that in your drive. Now you do not hit the button to put it in. You push it in. And now right when you get to the end, make sure it's pushed in a little hard so it stays in there. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here. You're going to go to Spin Drive. Click that once or twice. Give it a minute. I'll go over to that. Click Find Magic Number. Click that. We get the magic number. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is to save layout file. So you save that wherever you want. I'm saving it to Xbox 360 Backups. You can save it wherever you want. I'm just going to save it as COD5 Layout. Okay, so I saved that. Now I come over here. I see the COD5 Layout. Now you're going to need to open it with Notepad. Okay, so now the third line down where it says the C right there. Let's see on the third line down. Yeah. Third line down will be a C. You erase that. And then you go to a capital D. Capital D now. Third one right there. Okay, now you go to File. Save. Close that. Hold up. Go back to WX Ripper. Go to Open Layout File. Open that layout file you just changed. Okay, now it should change the third line to instead of copy to dummy. So you get both dummies. Now what you're going to need to do is go up here to start dump. Click start dump. Save it to whatever you want. I'm going to save it to COD5 ISO. Save wherever you want. Okay. Now click. Hold up. Now click. Save. Um, now numbers should start coming up. Now this process can take anywhere for... I've had 30 minutes. I had one go... Um, an hour and twenty. So once it's done, you'll get. It'll say it's done. So you'll close it. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to stealth patch this, so you can play on Xbox Live. I'll also have the links to all the files next to this first video. Um, and so see you in the stealth patching video.